everybody and welcome back to another Coaster Cheetah video and in this video I'll be ranking my top 5 least favorite coasters that I've ridden. These rides are either rough, uncomfortable, or all around just, I mean, bad rides. So starting off with number 5, this is already going to be controversial. <clears throat> and even though I kind of enjoy this ride, it's incredibly disappointing for a Disney park. Yes, that is Space Mountain at the Magic Kingdom. And yeah, it's extremely bad in my opinion, very janky, even though it's a classic, I know, and it's kind of cool in the pitch dark, however, I would prefer some epic, cool space theming, and I would really love for them to do that, maybe like an, a huge revamp of the ride, make some awesome dark theming, think like the laugh track at Hershey Park, but to the next level. And maybe even some, like, retracking and reprofiling repro and stuff like that. I think it would make the ride a lot better. And, yeah, I just really don't even ride this when I go to Disney anymore because I just don't really like the ride. And now coming in at number four, we have Mach, uh, Mach Wild Mice Coasters. Uh, these are clone coasters. However, all of them are terrible, honestly. Uh, the only two I have ridden are Wild Mouse at Hershey Park and Sand Serpent at Busch Gardens Tampa. Actually, no, I think I also rode the one at, like, Legoland, uh, Florida. But yeah, they're all terrible, very jerky, janky, however. They're only at number four because there are, is a lot of stuff uh, worse in this list. Plus, these are, like, kind of laughably bad. So, <clears throat> yeah, not exactly, like, like, painful, just uncomfortable and rough. And now coming in at number three, we have Wildcat at Hershey Park. Didn't have the worst layout, however, it was just unbearably rough. Definitely need to get arm seed, and I'm excited for that. Yeah, this ride really just was not good, and yeah, I mean, it gave you no airtime. It rattled your brain out. It was so rough, and I mean, really unenjoyable. I feel like back in the day, it would have been enjoyable, and it is the first GCI, so I understand why it's rough. Uh, however, yeah, it definitely needs to be arm seed, and I'm so glad that it is going to be arm seed because, yeah, this red was just awful. And now moving into number two, which is the second and hopefully the final uh, controversial take. And I know a lot of people are going to agree with me, and a lot of people are going to disagree with me. But at number two, we have Magnum XL 200. There's a reason why I have not done a review on this coaster, and I might do it in the future for a bad coaster review. But I hate this coaster so much. It is uncomfortable, not necessarily rough, but janky and jerky. And the airtime is painful, not in a good way, not like Sky Rush. And it's just really terrible. The layout is decent, I guess. And I realize that this is, you know, the first hyper coaster, so it's not going to be perfect, but. Definitely not a great coaster. I was honestly expecting to ride this this coaster and like get off and like like it. And before riding this coaster, I figured that like like a wild thing at Valley Fair is a good example of this. If a large it drop long. and maintains most of its speed throughout the layout, it can still be a good ride because you're going fast. You have the nice airtime on the drop, even if it's like no airtime really. It can still be good. And with Magnum, I was going into that thinking it might be a little jerky. However, of course, it'll have some good airtime. And of course, you know, it's a hyper coaster, so it'll obviously be good. And now I no longer stand by that because Magnum ruined it for me. It's just really terrible. You, you, I've heard this countless times. You either love it or hate it with Magnum. And on my one and only ride in the magic seat of Magnum XL200, I can safely say that I hate it. And now for the number one spot, this is an interesting pick. Because this is a family coaster, this is the Dahlonega Mine Train at Six Flags Over Georgia. This is terrible. I thought it would be a decent little mine train, nothing special, but it was terrible. It was so rickety that it felt like it was, like, pausing throughout the ride, and it was, like, ter I mean, four lift hills, it was just boring. Like, some of the kids even in my train were, like, getting bored. Like, the lift hills, they were, like, sighing. And, I mean, it was, like, just bad. All around bad, jerky, rough, boring, and uh, uncomfortable. Definitely, definitely don't recommend. And, honestly, if you really want the credit, go for it. But other than that, I don't recommend this ride at Six Flags Over Georgia. Especially at the line of song, I really wouldn't go for it. Credit or no credit, regardless. 
But yeah, that will wrap up my top five uh, worst or least favorite coasters that I've ridden. And that will probably change in the future. However, leave in the comments down below what you think of it, because I know there will be a lot of different opinions about that. And most certainly about Magnum XL 200. Also in the comments down below, um, give me video ideas to do, because I would definitely do them. And also comment down below any questions that you have for my Q&A video, which will be coming out on the 21st of November. If you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>